Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about cigar box guitars. For this video you will need a three string cigar box guitar with fret spacing like that. This is a different fret spacing to my other cigar box guitar video. This is a fret spacing that you'd find on a guitar, banjo, mandolin or ukulele. And you will need to be tuned G, the string nearest your chin, D, the middle string and G, the string nearest the floor. That is G, nearest your chin, D, the middle string and G, the string nearest the floor. So let's get started. So let's get started. This hand is not on the fretboard, that is a G chord. A nice bluesy type of G chord. If you want to make it a fuller sounding G chord, you add your ring finger to the fourth fret. This here is the nut. One, two, three, four. So your ring finger to the fourth fret of the bottom G string. And if you strum that, that is a, a more rounding sounding G chord. So you take your finger off, you've got a blues G. Add your finger to the fourth fret, a nicer sounding G. So four without any fingers on. Add the finger. Off. Add. Off. Add. Off. Add. As well as using the bottom G string, we can play the fourth fret of the thicker G string. Remember, that's the nut. One, two, three, four. So you can play there as well. So you've got a normal G without any hand off. Fourth fret of the bottom string. Fourth fret of the thick G string. So we've got G, bottom string, top string. So now we can play them. You don't have to play them for a bar each. We're just going to stay on the bottom fourth string for this one. So we're going to do G without on the count of one hand. Add the finger, two hand. Finger off, three hand. Finger on, four hand. Two, one and two and three and four and. That's finger off for the one hand. Finger on for the two hand. Finger off for the free hand, finger back on for the four hand. So it's one and two and three and four and again. One and two and three and four and. Or on the thicker G string, one and two and three and four and. Again, no fingers, one and add finger, two and finger off. Three and four and. And those are some of the things you can do on the G chord in the open position. To play a song, you at least need two chords. The easiest chord now is the D chord. That is the second fret of the low and high G string. Remember, that's the nut. One, two. There. And if you strum down through all the strings, that is a D chord. G, two, three, D. G, D, G, D, G, D. So our G chord we can use that one but for now we use no fingers at all and D is at the 2nd fret, the high and low G. Remember this is the nut 
first, second, G to D. So G, D, G, D, G, D, G, D. So now we'll switch from a different G to D. We'll use the bottom the bottom G string at the fourth fret. D. G. D. G. D. Some of you may have noticed I am playing the G there with my fourth finger, my little finger, to leave these two fingers free for the D chord. So it's G, four strums. D, G, D, G, D, G, D, G, D. So now we're going to mix it up. We're going to do G. Four strums with no hand, no fingers on the fretboard, I should say. D, this G. D, D, G, D, again G. D, G. The only thing you need to remember is you can't strum like this. G, one, two, three, four, pause and add the D. The frets and chords must change while you are strumming a constant rhythm. So again, G. D. G. When you can strum like that, we can add a bit more rhythm to it. So instead of just strumming one, we're going down and up. So it's still one, two, three, four, but it's now one and two and three and four and... So we are strumming still down, one, two, three, four, but in between we're strumming up, one and two and three and four. So G. G. D. G. D. G. D. G. G, D, G, D. To play a song in the key of G, you will need one more chord. You've got a G chord, you've got a D chord, and now you'll need a C. The C is the second fret of the middle string, and the 5th fret of the high G string, the string nearest the floor. So this is the nut, 1, 2 there, and 5 with the little finger there. That is a C chord. So you've got 2nd fret of the middle string, and 5th fret of the high G string, the string nearest the floor. That is a C chord. 
So now we will put them together into a little song. So now we'll have a playthrough of the 12 bar blues. So for this one we'll need G, C and D. So we've got G there. Four bars of G. I'm strumming four times for each bar. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we switch to C for two bars. Again. Back to G. G again. D. C. G two bars. So we'll go for that again. There are four bars of G. Two bars of C. Two bars of G. One bar of D. One bar of C. Two bars of G. So now we'll have a strum through of the 12 bar blues without any breaks. So after four, one, two, three, four. What you may have noticed there was I was strumming harder on the one. So on G I was going one, two, three, four, two. So with the four strums, number one was louder. Not much louder, but enough so you can hear it. So we'll practice that. One, two, three, four, one. So when you apply that to the 12 bar blues, each first strum is the loudest. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, C chord. And it gives the music a bit of a push. When you can do that, you can make the one and the three louder, like this. One, two, three, four. So you can do it on the one or the three, or indeed you can play it loud all the way through. The choice 
is up to you. So now we're going to add a few more bits to the 12 bar blues to make it a bit interesting for the listener. So we've got a G chord. One and two and lift finger off, three and add finger back on, four and Excuse the funny hand position, I'm trying to move my fingers out the way so you can see clearly. 4th fret, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... So with that technique, the first four bars of the 12 bar blues would sound like this. Another thing you can do is lift it on the two hand and four hand. So finger on for the one hand, one and finger off for the two hand, finger on for the three hand, finger off for the four hand. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and again on G. So the first four bars of the 12 bar blues would sound like this using that method. As you can see, you get a bit more out of the instrument if you do a few finger lifts. So now we'll apply that to the 12 bar blues. I'm not sure what I'm going to play, I'm going to see what happens at the time. One, two, three, four. To finish the 12 bar blues off, when you've played your last bar of G, go to a D chord, then back to a G. Or. So as you can see from that demonstration, I was using a combination of different ways of playing the G. It works on G because this is tuned to G. Although you can play other keys in it, it's mainly tuned to G, so when you lift your hand off, them strings are in the key of G and it sounds nice. So I hope that's useful, let's move on. If you saw my other video there is something you can do with a D chord. On the other video you slid up one fret, in this video you're sliding up two because we have more frets on the fretboard. So you've got your two fingers like that at the second fret, you slide them up to the fourth and then back to the second to this count. One and two and slide up to the fourth, three and then back to the second, four and one and two and three and four and so you've got normal D position for one and two and you slide up to the fourth fret for three and and slide back to the second for four and so the count goes something like this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and in the rhythm of the song So like this. Strum with me. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So in the context of the 12 bar blues when you get to the last four bars you can strum. That would be 
be one and two and three and four and C chord. One and two and three and four and G chord. One, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Again, D will be one and two and slide up to the first, th fourth, three and. Back to the second for the four and. So it's one and two and three and four and. And that's what you can do on the D chord in the 12 bar blues. Well, that brings this first video to an end on the cigar box guitar. There are, I post videos on two types of cigar box guitars. Both have three strings. Both are tuned G, D, G. This one has spacing similar to a guitar, mandolin, banjo, ukulele. And the other has fret spacing similar to a dulcimer. So subscribe to Blackpool Music Skill to be kept up to date with both videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, thank you for watching, take care and goodbye.